RG's Mike Sirianni spoke with victims who are frustrated, angry, and some who are even ready to leave Memphis. I want to understand what the mayor doing, what the chief police doing. There's no hiding it. Mohamed Alamud is upset with Memphis's crime-finding efforts. Matt, his business, A to Z Auto Repair on Lamar, was burglarized twice in a week. I've been here four years in Memphis. This is my biggest mistake to move to Memphis. During the latest break-in Thursday morning, a suspect left blood on this broken window, then can be seen using a cigarette lighter to ransack the office, later taking as many tools as possible. He took everything, you know. I'm tired, I'm sick, that's why I called you guys. Alamud says it appears the suspect wasn't too concerned about being caught. He seemed to take his time going through this hole in the fence, carrying tools that he'd stolen, and making his way through a field, even dropping some of the tools behind him. Alamud figures he lost about $13,000 worth of tools, but doesn't plan on losing his life. I'm 59 years old. I never have a gun in my life, but I have a, to have a gun here in Memphis, Tennessee. Martine Tapia, who owns Tapia Auto Repair on Lamar, is also a victim of crime. This security video shows what could be the same suspect breaking into his business on Lamar and making off with tools and computers. Everybody has same problem, you know. Right now, Mohammed, two days ago, me, Next week, maybe other people, I don't know. It's a lot of troubles in this area. Business owners wanting more police protection for their investments. For your news leader in Memphis, I'm Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3.